I've been in here playing with this rude baby today. <laughs> First, he woke me up, running around the house all loud. And then he played hide and seek. And so I was like, I guess I, I need to uh, I need to get up and participate. I sat down and started playing with his toys and called him over so that he could play too. You know what he did? When I rolled the toys to him, he took them, put them on the far side of him where I couldn't reach him so he could play by himself. I, I, I don't appreciate this, Makai. I'm offended, in fact. I don't think he cares. I have to do an audition this morning and uh, get that done. And then maybe I'll be going to see a condo. The realtor told me he'd tell me for sure at noon. So we got about an hour to find out if I'm gonna be seeing the inside of it. If not, we'll drive by and see the outside. But again, if the price is right, and well, the price is right, but if there isn't too much damage inside, then I may have stumbled upon a property. I hadn't intended to buy property, but this will be too good for me to let pass through my fingers. Here, let me go somewhere where the lighting is a little better. I still need to put my my face treatments on. You know, you know how we do our beauty treatments. I need to need to do that too. So, let's go. Do 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 do. -do. You going with me? Got some light on. I forget how hot it is in here. Um, come on, fan. Come on, fan. All right. Hopefully this fan will help some. Let me turn this fan toward me. Maybe now we can get some earth. I didn't bring my tripod in here, but oh well. I woke up this morning thinking about a number of things. The most important thing, because I don't, I don't want to ramble, is what if in this world we weren't afraid to be our very best? What if we didn't need approval from anybody to do anything? What if we didn't have to apologize for being good at certain things or caring about some things and not caring about others? Like, oh, sorry, I'm a nerd. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just get fixated on flowers. Sorry, I just love arts and crafts. Sorry. What if we didn't have to do that? What if we could just be ourselves unapologetically uh, to the best of our ability? I think this is coming from a text conversation that I had with my nephew last night, one of my nephews. And he's very quiet, often doesn't speak until spoken to. When he asks questions, they're usually, they seem out of the blue. I'm sure there are things that he's been thinking about for a while, but it's like, well, that was random. What, what are you, you know, what's going on that you ask that question? And sometimes actually socially inappropriate. We're like, you know, uh, that's, that's really, that's kind of personal. But I, I try to answer his questions to the best of my ability and truthfully. So if I don't feel comfortable telling him something, I tell him instead of saying, I don't know, or lying to him, I just say, I don't feel comfortable. I think you should go ask that person because sometimes he'll ask me things about other people and I'll be like, you know, that's not my business. So I think you should go ask so-and-so and he will. I've been getting to know him better and I am, I'm really surprised, pleasantly. Here's that rude little boy again. Here's that rude little boy. Hello, Makai. Hello, Makai. He wasn't feeling well for a while, so I'm glad he's He's better. Okay, back to my other nephew. He asked me if I thought kids should learn as much as possible. And I told him, I think everybody should learn as much as possible. And then he, he said something about to the effect of people who don't are stupid. And I said, well, there are some people who are arrogant. Sure, you know, like we know those people who are like, I'm American, what more do I need to know? We know those people. But sometimes life just gets in the way. Sometimes, you know, you make a decision, it makes your life more complicated or something happens to you and it makes your life more complicated than you intended. And you don't have time to learn for pleasure. You don't have much leisure time or your leisure, leisure time is spent sleeping because all your waking hours are spent figuring out how to get food on the table for you and your kids or, you know, take care, you're a caretaker and you're taking care of other people or whatever. 
all our lives take different paths and require different things of us. And so sometimes we don't have the time we want to just read books for leisure or learn stuff on YouTube University or whatever. So I explain that to him because I also don't want him to just dismiss people who don't continue to learn as stupid. That's not always the case. And he said, yeah, I understand. I understand that. But then this morning, thinking, circling back around, you know me, you know how I do. This morning, waking up, thinking about, it's hot in here. I'm sweating because it's hot. Thinking about how each of us has a reason to be here. Each of us has one or more special skills. Each of us has something to give. Each of us has a story to tell. So I've said this before, I feel like we're all puzzle pieces. We're each here for a reason. And if you don't give what your puzzle piece uh, is supposed to give, then we don't get the whole picture that we, we were intended to have. Now, if you refuse to do what you're supposed to do, maybe two more puzzle piece, pieces that equal your shape will be sent here to fit and create the whole picture. Like, you know, one monkey don't stop no show. We each have something to contribute to the fabric of humanity. And the gatekeepers, I'm not going into conspiracy theory territory. We can easily see this. The gatekeepers or the powers that be here on this earth would not like, don't want us to be free. Ideally, they would have us working all the time. There's a baby over here. <laughs> uh, giving us a few pennies to help them continue to get wealthier and wealthier and never redistribute uh, the profits, which we see happening. This is why we have very rich and very poor and very few people are middle class. I understand that I'm speaking of a utopia a world in which everything is is perfect but what if like i like to take time to just dream for a bit what if we were unapologetically ourselves what if we gave what we are here to give without restraint now i'm not talking about hurting anybody i know somebody uh with some issues is going to watch this and be like well i want to do this if you're hurt, talking about hurting anybody that ain't what we're talking about here, okay? Move on. But what if we plied our crafts, if we worked on ourselves until we became our best selves, all the while contributing to humanity in whatever way we can? Some of us are artisans. Some of us are counselors. Uh, and I'm not even talking about licensed. The laws of the land require you to be licensed to do certain things professionally. And I get it. I get it. Otherwise, you'd have a bunch of hacks out here just like <laughs> messing people up. But in your circle of influence, your friends, your family, your community, your job, you can provide things to lift people up. What if? Y'all tell me. Y'all think I'm crazy? You think I'm crazy? Here's what I want to ask. <clears throat> if time were of no consequence... None of that, well, I'm gonna be 60 in two months. I'm too old to do X, Y, Z. Or I would like to do this other thing, but you know, I, I look like this and they will never let me do whatever it is that I wanna do. Or ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> if none of that was an issue, if money, wasn't an issue if money wasn't a thing just dream with me for a bit what would you do what's in you that is hollering to get out that you have not been able to express maybe maybe you're working as an attorney but you really want to be a painter you know maybe you're a doctor but you really want to make shoes, you know? Maybe you're good at, at uh, giving people advice. Like, are you the person that people always seek out for advice? Something in you says, okay, but I'm not a licensed uh, psychologist or, or whatever. But people come to you for life advice and you are known for being grounded. Any of those things. And some people may have multiple areas. I want to know 
what you would do given unlimited time and money is no object, okay? And we're not, not necessarily talking about you're rich. We're not necessarily talking about that because sometimes money can be a distraction as well because now you have access to more and so now you know you're flitting over here and over here and over here uh, you are suffering from too many choices like when we go to the store and there are 84 different types of toothpaste and we stand there for 20 minutes trying to figure out okay do I want whitening do I want plus white do I want charcoal? We're not talking about that. We're just saying money is no object. Maybe the concept of money doesn't even exist. Again, dream with me a little bit. I want to know in the comment section, what would you do? Okay, you know I would travel. <laughs> you know I would travel. I would spend a lot of time reading. Uh, people do tend to come to me for advice. And... I've been giving advice for so long. I think it, part of it comes with me being the oldest sister, uh, just like fixing things, fixing issues, uh, plugging holes that I see. It's just, it's in me. And since I've gotten older, now I've learned to be more diplomatic with giving advice. Before I was too blunt. I'm still honest. I would say, hey, I'm a Sagittarius. I can't help it. I'm going to be honest, but now uh, there's more diplomacy. Uh, there's more love with it. It's from my heart and not from my head. So my ego's not involved. Uh, I've had a lot of therapy. If you ask me, hey, what should I do? And you don't do it. Now I go, okay, I wish you had done it. Now y'all screwed up, but it is your life and there's no malice or anything. Whereas before I'd be like, ah, yeah, I told you, you should have done X, Y, Z. So, so, so I've grown in that sense, but it is <clears throat> a skill that I have. I'm resourceful, I care about people, and I'm a problem solver. But to enrich myself, I would just learn all kinds of things. I want to learn how to make shoes. That's where that example came from. I really want to learn how to make shoes. Uh, so we got traveling, reading, learning how to make shoes, spending time with friends and family. This is the most time that I have spent with family since 1998. I moved to LA in 1998 and I would come back maybe for a week at a time. I think once I came back for 10 days. On Saturday, I, I will have been here three weeks. and. I am, I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying everybody. It's wonderful to see how my sisters, my nieces, my nephews, how their childhood traits have galvanized into the people that they are today. It's interesting. Kids don't really change unless, unless they experience trauma. They come here with their own wiring. You can't make them be something else unless you abuse them or neglect them and you really just you just guide them do your best to teach them right from wrong educate them keep them safe keep them comfortable so that they're not afraid and they can be themselves I don't think you can get through childhood without some kind of trauma you know you can't the world is going to put its hands on you at some point and you're gonna be like whoa okay the world's a scary place or I am not safe in this type of situation so that's why we have so many broken adults you know I think everybody's broken to some degree what I'm asking is if if you were not if the world hadn't done something to you what would you be because I believe that as long as there is breath in our bodies it's still possible to be that it's still possible to do that so let me know what you think, and uh, I look forward to reading your comments. I'm sorry I got, I got distracted here at the end. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> okay, I got to go flirt with a baby. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, oh you want it? wasn't on. You want it?